Work it, Dr. Marshall. Work it. Yeah. Toss that hair. Right oh, there. that's a camera? That's like a real-time camera? This is the video. Shoot. <laughs> My name's Dr. Chris, and I'm an interventional radiologist. Hi, I'm Dr. John, and I'm an interventional radiologist. Interventional radiology is doing minimally invasive surgeries using image guidance. We do several procedures through small incisions with local anesthetic. We do it usually in an office-based setting. We keep patients out of the hospital and get them home as quickly as possible. Okay, welcome back. We're at Great Lakes Medical Imaging Park Club Lane. Today is about venous disease. What is venous disease? How do we treat it? I think a lot of people believe that venous disease is exclusively cosmetic, and we know that that's not true, that in a simple summed up form, venous disease is really your valves stop working properly and blood pools in your legs. Patients sometimes will have symptoms like leg pain, leg swelling, leg heaviness, just an uneasiness, a restless leg type feeling. Sometimes patients can even get swelling and edema. They can even get ulcers and ulceration in more serious forms. And of course, varicose veins is what everybody thinks of, which is also one of the symptoms. Everybody knows someone that has skin pigment changes around their ankles, that ring of kind of darker colored skin. Yeah that is called lipodermatosclerosis, but goes right along with venous disease. But your words are so fancy. So we can treat venous insufficiency in our off outpatient office here. First, we'll document that there's a problem and we'll do that via a special ultrasound study, which we also do here. And then once we document there's a problem, we can bring someone in for what's called an endovenous ablation, which is basically shutting down those problematic veins. Simple procedure, you know, it takes 20 or 25 minutes. We use local anesthetic and we basically weld the vein shut. Patients tolerate it very well. There's no downtime that's People ask that a lot. If you if you have a job, am I going to miss work? We actually encourage people to be more active after we do the procedure. Yeah, exactly. We'll walk you through a few of those. The first step of the procedure is finding the vein we want to treat with ultrasound. We then administer local anesthetic to numb the soft tissues and make a small nick in the skin. Following this, we can access the vein with a small needle. Using ultrasound, we can see the needle entering the vein. We then place a small wire through the needle, which goes into the vein, and then we can remove the needle over the wire. The wire stays inside the vein, and then over it we can slide a hollow plastic tube called a sheath. The sheath acts as a direct entry port into the vein. Through this we can put our ablation catheter, which has a heating element on the end that we use to treat the vein. Before we do this, however, we need to give more local anesthetic throughout the entire course of the vein. We do this so the patient doesn't feel the procedure, but also the extra fluid acts as a heat sink to minimize damage to adjacent tissues. We then turn on the RF generator to create heat, which closes down the problematic vein. We are here again doing some leg cases. Not that kind of leg case. <laughs> you wanna... <laughs> so you notice now that I have changed my clothes because it is another day. Another day at Great Lakes. I don't think that's what she meant. Hmm? No, I, th I think she wanted you to say that you were in a procedure and you got blood on yourself and that you had to change them. So, so clean. That never happened. I was doing a procedure and you were helping me and you got blood on you. What did you mean by that? Could you clarify, Rebecca? <laughs> Tell her followers who you are. And who are you? Sarah Dan, PA. Oh, that's a close up. She's very awkward on camera. It's the only time Sarah. I'm quiet. Tell us what you do here at Great Lakes Medical Imaging. Look at the camera. I'm a physician assistant, so I can do consults, do procedures. I get to work with these two handsome fellas all day. Okay. Very entertaining, very fun to work with, very good doctors. She said handsome. This guy has been called McDreamy at least three separate times. You know what I get? I get Doogie Hauser. Who called him McDreamy? Like three separate people on did he three have different occasions. On? He did, did have, he have makeup on when he, he was he called did, McDreamy. He, he did have makeup on one time. All I'm saying is he's got McDreamy three times and I've got Doogie Hauser once. I was laughing here. I'm like, you remember McDreamy? There was also McSteamy. There was. I mean, oh. kind of right. Now onto the important stuff. Yeah. So we actually have a real case to do now. Real work. Um, hey, it's Gary. Gary No Pants. Gary No Pants. Nice to meet you. Why, why are you called Gary No Pants? Because I don't wear pants. As you can see, I'm wearing a kilt. <laughs> this guy. You're yeah, you were filming something. You may yeah. recognize this handsome man from <laughs> yeah. commercials. At least four oh, people yeah. have recognized me. From your commercial? Yes, all 60 year old guys at the gym. Anyway, we have a real case to do now. This one is a, an intravascular ultrasound or an IVUS. Well, IVUS is intravascular ultrasound. And basically, it's a catheter that goes inside the vein so we can look at it from inside out to see whether or not there's narrowing, old blood clot, or webs. And if there are problems that are causing restriction in the blood flow, we can place something called a stent, which is like a metal scaffolding. This individual has a non-healing ulcer on his foot. He has compression of one of the veins in his pelvis, so what we're gonna do is go up with our intravascular ultrasound catheters, 
outline where that narrowing is and put a stent across it in hopes that his ulcer heals. So let's go. Actually have room in the gown. It's not so snug like the other physician that works here. Yeah. Dr. Husky, great man, great body. Great body. First thing we have to do is prep the patient in a sterile fashion. So we use these uh, chloroprep swabs. So you crack it, shake it, wait for that nice blue stuff to come through the pad. Lidocaine, which is used to numb up the soft tissues. Same stuff dentists use, it stings and burns when it goes in. I usually tell my patients before I do it. So you get that in, it's nice and numb. This is our access needle. We start with this, we get blood return. And we know we're inside the vein, the tip of the needle's in the vein. We'll then put this little floppy tip wire here and that comes out and goes into the vein. And so as long as this wire is still inside the vein, we can remove the needle and then put on a little hollow plastic tube called a sheath. We then advance this plastic sheath into the vein remove the wire and now we have a tube and we have access to the venous system and then over that sheath we work so we can put the stent in over the over the stiff wire. That's basically how every procedure in IR is oh, done. Yeah. Every intravascular hey, procedure. Flushing all the equipment, all the sheaths, making sure it has full of fluid and not air because you don't want air inside the blood vessels. It's usually a bad thing. Our ultrasound probes are reusable. We, do, we have to put a sterile cover on them so that we can use them in sterile procedures. This is that sterile cover. It's just like a big sock. Fill it up with gel. Probe in. I'll grab onto it. He'll pull it. We now have a sterile probe cover. Chris is really good at explaining the most boring, inane part of the procedure. It's that long black tube here. That line is the vein. You can see his needle coming in like that. Lower over to Yep. Lights out. Up into the inferior vena cava, which is the big blood vessel in the lower half of the body. This is sort of like a conduit into the vein now, so we can put things through it and not antagonize the venotomy site. Ivis catheter is going up. See, it's going up the wire like a rail. We've identified there's a significant area of narrowing inside the vein, and we want to place a stent. What we need to do is we need to size the stent, both in diameter and in length. So we're going to use the intravascular ultrasound to do that. Intravascular ultrasound just means ultrasound from the inside of the blood vessels. So most people think about ultrasound, putting a probe on top of the patient like we used to get access to the vein. Miniaturize the ultrasound technology, put it on a catheter, and we're putting that inside the blood vessel. The stent, the way we deploy it, it's collapsed down. It's a self-expanding stent. My sheet's back a little bit, far apart from them. We're, we're up about You're up a, a couple centimeters. So I think yeah. you can come back. This is an insufflator, and it basically is a fancy way to blow up the balloon, but we have a pressure gauge here. Every balloon has a different rating until it bursts, so we want to make sure we don't go over that rating. Store that. Don't move, don't breathe, don't move, don't breathe, don't move. Okay, breathe a little, hold on. That's a wrap. This is Linda Hoskin. She's our director of ultrasound, and we're really, really lucky to have her. She's fantastic. Say hi. Hi. Is this for To the camera. I'm completely unprepared. Hello. That's the whole idea. We love her, though. Hey, Amber. Hold on one second. What's your title? <laughs> I want to introduce all of you to someone very important and near and dear to my heart. This is Amber Dinatel. She's yeah. our clinical director. Yep. We're very lucky to have her. She's fantastic. I, I changed her last name. My actual last actually, name. it was about a month ago. I just said, your last name isn't Dina Tal anymore. It's Dizzle. I actually thought it was her last name. I went to look for her email. I was like, Amber Dizzle. Diz. That's yeah. what I call her now. What up, Diz? <laughs> I love how you asked her her title and then said it as if you knew it. Hold on, let me take my backpack off. This is Christian, our IT coordinator here at Great Lakes Medical Imaging. How do you like it here? I like it. Yeah. It's a great place to work. Yeah. People are nice. People are awesome. Patients are great. I haven't dealt with any. That's fair. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. <laughs> You have the Hi. longest neck and arms I've ever seen. Hey. This is Amory Morrow. Hello. Our very talented, striking, intelligent oh. VP of business development. See yeah. how good he is? The charm. Who wouldn't want to work with And everybody charm. knows who that is. The one Fit, and only. Shorty, barely over 40. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, nobody does that anymore. What she no do? one raises the I'm roof trending. anymore. I'm trending. Don't tell me. That. She's trending, but she raises the roof. You know what trending is? <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> just let me see for. I'm just curious what you're. Do you know what 
trending is? You don't even know what Instagram is. You don't even know what Snapchat is. Where's the patient? Where, where's, where do I go to do the next procedure? He's been called the dreamer three times. He's been now been called Ryan Reynolds, and I still have one Doogie Hauser. We have more important things to be doing right now. Let's go. Stand right here, stand right here, right here, okay? Feet shoulder width apart. Okay, hips that way and arms that way. I can't way. do it. I, can't, I really can't do this. I, you do the thing with your head. Don't don't look at me that way when you're doing it either. I can't. It's, it's going to be straight face. I'm not going to look. I can't laugh at all. I love it. <laughs> you want to do it straight face. Didn't crack a smile. Didn't crack a smile. That no. is the backpack. She knows. She knows, knows the backpack. Know she knows the backpack kid dance. Because I was at a 13 year old's birthday party <laughs> and they were singing rap Stop songs it. and doing that Stop dance. It. I tried I'm to teach gonna, him. He was like, I'm not going to tell my pelvis that way. I'm not, not going to do it. I refuse. I could probably do it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tongue twister for dancing. Virginia, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> that is not even normal. Oh, what music was so. playing for that? You're so jealous. Oh, oh! Oh! He can also worm. Now this is gonna be awesome. Oh, how far is he gonna worm for us? <laughs> oh! I think I just snapped something in my back. You went the entire length of the I building. Something. I thought I you were gonna do some like epic myself. worm all the way across, but it's like. <laughs> I'm I'll get them. Is this supposed to be pain shooting down your leg? <laughs> we can do pain injections for that. So there you have it, another action-packed day at Great Lakes Medical Imaging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Dr. Chris. And I'm Dr. John. We'll see you next case. <laughs>